What is up, everybody? To what versus TV here today. So apparently, these scalpers are making a lot of money off these scalped PS5s and Xbox Series Xs. This is just sad at this point because people are so desperate, so desperate to get these consoles. It's like, why are you paying these scalpers? Stop paying the scalpers. So now they're gonna keep doing it. Okay, so if you keep paying, if you keep buying from these scalpers, what's what's gonna make them stop? What's gonna make them stop scalping these systems? Like they have no excuse to stop scalping them if you're gonna keep buying it from these scalpers. So this article, so this um article says, according to a new report, scalpers have made over twenty three million dollars selling next generation Xbox consoles, and over thirty million selling next gen PS PlayStation consoles. So this is the month they made last month. This is such ridiculous. <laughs> they made almost sixty thousand dollars, sixty million dollars selling consoles. So that's insane. And it says, except Sony, and this is going to read some of the comments, and it says, except Sony has already started blacklisting consoles that were stolen or sold fraudulently, so enjoy a short ride and large fall when you buy a stolen or scalped console and doesn't work without PSN, and you can't log into it. There's so many reasons why you shouldn't buy from scalpers. One, because these people are a-holes to begin with, or just, just scumbags, just to, just to try to resell the, the system for more than it's worth anyway. A lot more than it's worth, not just a little bit, but a lot more. Let's come back for that. There, you get no warranty if the system breaks. They could be selling you a brick. They could be selling you um, a console that doesn't work. And so these you can be scammers. They can sell you something that, that's not even a PS5. Like I did the one story about somebody got sent a brick instead of a concrete brick instead of a console. So it's just, I don't understand why people are buying from scalpers. It's just like, why can't you just wait it out? Especially if you're in the U.S., we're getting constant drops for these consoles at all these different retailers. They could do... Is be patient and follow on these Twitter accounts to give you the deals. Like it's been constant drops, nonstop. Like every day, it's like a new drop for a console. It's like a new um, store selling consoles. I don't know why people in the U.S. are paying these scalpers like this. This is ridiculous. It's like I don't understand how you can just pay somebody two thousand dollars for a PS Five. It's stupid. Uh, so this guy is bragging. <laughs> this guy is bragging. I'm pretty sure he got roasted in the comment section. Let's see his replies. So this guy said, I made like $2,500, got myself a nice new OLED CX with the money I made for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. I kept for myself. Happy with the system, I just don't make people buy them, it's just e-commerce. This man is probably saying how you made money off this game. What's wrong with you? Like the other guy said, you don't add anything to the product, just great, have a nice day. What does Walmart add to the product when they sell it? How do you feel knowing that because of a because of you, a kid might not get his first console he wanted ever this Christmas. You didn't earn that money. You didn't provide any value to the product. In reality, what you did is make some desperate parent pay for your new TV. You do know the console will continue to sell, right? Does it have to be around Xmas? The kid need it? No, at the end of the day, 60,000 of the same folks you speak of got one still. It's not his fault people buy off the scalpers. He risks his money to make a profit. People choose not to buy from scalpers like him. He, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place, but you know supply and demand. Logical fallacy, other people being involved doesn't absolve him of anything. The supply and demand argument doesn't work here when the scalpers have no control of the supply themselves. I don't know what. <laughs> you can ignore all of that. Bottom line is they are using these buys to buy up all these systems and making people extremely desperate to buy off them. I don't understand. You, you don't get no moral high ground here. You're a piece of crap for your scalpers. <laughs> like, you can write all these paragraphs you want that has a, a supply and demand. You're a, you're a garbage person at the end of the day. <laughs> like, you can write all these paragraphs you want about how this is some, some supply and demand. Capitalism. Okay. Wait, wait, people actually buy the nation Xbox? What the F? So he's talking console fanboy right here. But the Xbox is so the Xbox Series X is sold out everywhere, so you still I don't understand why people are still doing console wars where you can't get either system readily if it's not readily available for either system, so this is a stupid take right there. I mean eighty six million three sixty sold, about sixty million Xbox One sold and close to twenty million Game Pass subs. Yeah, people like Xbox. <laughs> it's like, exactly. Shaking my head. Sony won't let ninjas get away with this S2. <laughs> you know what sucks? Sony most likely doesn't give it us because they made their money either way. It's like, well, these companies really don't care. I think, I think, I think the whole thing is they really just don't care as long as they're making money. And it's like, it's such a crappy, 
<laughs> such a crappy thing right here, to be honest. People need to stop buying from them. That is true, but they won't stop buying from these scalpers. It's like, people are okay with paying $1,500 to $2,000 for a, a PS5, which I would never. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Make these efforts waste their money and force them to reset retail value. People, knew, people need to do a lot of S masks or stop doing a lot of S, but there's a lot of people with a lot of more money than sense. Exactly. A lot of people are stupid. I'll <laughs> be honest. Uh, I think these people with money are just stupid. It's like, people are stupid. A lot of people are. It's like when you look at celebrities, especially like celebrities, they buy stupid crap all the time. Like, why is it that a bag, the Birkin bag, is all these celebrities are talking about right now? All these female celebrities are talking about Birkin bags. They're like, why would you spend this much money on a bag? So that seems like a lot of people who got money aren't that bright. It's like, it isn't like a saying too. A fool and his money will soon be departed. That's what I think about. That's what I think about all these people who buy these consoles at like three times or four times the value and try to justify it. Like, sure, it's your money. It's, it doesn't faze me. It's your money, but you just buy money on stupid crap. Like, why would you buy a console? A uh, video game console supposed to be five hundred dollars for fifteen hundred or two thousand. This just makes no sense to me. When I just wait it out, <laughs> like I don't know, man. It just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. If you're a scalper, f y'all. Let people buy the system instead of hoarding them. Exactly. How do we know some of these scalpers aren't working on the inside? This could be some elaborate scheme for these companies to really look get. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's that complicated. I think these people are just using these bots to buy up all these systems at once, hoarding them, and then selling them to people who really desperately want one before uh, December twenty fifth. This is messed up. That money belongs to Sony. Because those consoles were stolen from the people. This should be illegal. It should be illegal, but they won't make it illegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny how a lot of other stuff in this country is illegal, but that is not illegal. That's crazy. <clears throat> this is the manufacturer's F up. I know you want to create demand, but this S is crazy. I've given up. Only thing my son wanted, little man, you have to do. I'm not paying a penny of less. Or bit. Very bitter taste about this whole process. Yeah, just wait a few months. These things will be readily available in stores. I'll just say wait a few months. I was like, I want an Xbox Series X2, but I'm not paying any scalpers. It's like, I would just wait until they're readily available for Xbox. I'm not going to pay any scalpers. Great job on those who choose to pay the bot sites and resell for big profits. Shame on the retailers for not being able to stop the bots. They can stop the bots. They just choose not to. Best Buy shows you can stop these bots by doing the store pickup, two-step verification, but these other retailers won't do it. I don't, they just don't care. Ah. <laughs> uh, Scalpers deserve, to, scalpers deserve to get COVID, greedy bastards. I was lucky enough to get a Sirius X, but I got a faulty one. Wow, he got one, but it was one that didn't work. Hands kept dashboard no crashing. It took a lot of arguing with customer support, but I finally received a replacement. So what happens if you buy one of these from a scalper? It's like you won't get any protection. You're just screwed if your console doesn't work. So, yeah, this is ridiculous. I'll act like it's not hurting anyone, but buying a PlayStation and causing that to be out of stock and cause people to have to pay way more for it. I'm starting to think there's at least one rich fool that paid twenty five thousand for one on eBay. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. I got more PS5s to scalp. Easy, but no way I support the scumming system at Debbie. Support gamers only at retail price. Scalpers and people who buy from scalpers should be locked in a hot yoga room and forced to play ET for all eternity. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm good. I'm glad that you said scalpers aren't the only ones who are the problem. The people who are the problem are these scalpers and the people who buy from scalpers. It's like you both just pieces of garbage at the end of the day. Because you, you need both to function. You need a person to buy from a scalper. You need a scalper to exist. It's like they both are scumbags to begin with. Yeah, they are committing theft by not actually selling the consoles to people who are trying to buy them. I guess that's legal now. This is absolutely criminal. I was like, it should be criminal. It should be it should be illegal at this point. Like this is definitely should be illegal at this point. And this is ridiculous. It's stupid how companies allow this to happen and people complain about a five dollar console but pay thousand dollars for it on eBay. Weird. Uh, that is weird because some people are probably complaining, but still was still at the same time buying it from these scalpers too. Uh, should be a federal crime. 
Should be international. <laughs> Feel bad for those who have to spend 1k for a console and it came to that. I did too, but then again, they chose to pay that much. Nobody forced them. Hey, Scarpers, I got a gift for you. That's a character, a cartoon character holding a baseball bat. <laughs> I knew people were stupid, but this is next level stupid. People probably spent their stimulus checks on these scalp consoles too. That's what I'm probably thinking, bro. <laughs> They probably spend like some stimulus check on these scalp consoles. These scalpers are going to enjoy selling their snacks in a jail cell. Scalpers can die in a hole for a kill. Hoarding things and selling them 10 times, 100 times this cost is nothing but a scam. Damn, wish I was a scalper. I'd be scalping the F out of everybody. And you'd probably be robbed too if you're bragging about like how these people are. <laughs> okay. A lot of these guys were being robbed too, so that's that. Uh, scalpers belong in hell unless they start giving them away for free. Yeah, so that's the that's the that's the end of this article. That's the end of this uh, video. It's like just a long, so long therapy reply to this. Um, <clears throat> to summarize it, I don't agree with these scalpers. They made all this money. I, don't, I think this should be a legal practice. It's like, this is getting out of hand at this point. This should definitely be illegal in this country. This is totally using bots. This should be illegal at the end of the day. Uh, I don't care what you say. People defend the scalpers. It's not a good thing. And yeah, that is the video. Definitely see your comments down below. Leave a like for this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.